Hello. Uh, so uh, I'm offering the operating systems course, and uh, uh, I'll briefly introduce what we are going to discuss in this course. Uh, my name is Saurav Bansal, and I'm a faculty member in the computer science department at IIT Delhi. Um, so the foundation of computer science is really, uh, in my opinion, abstractions. Um, for example, at the very lowest level, we basically have transistors that are uh, uh, moving electrons left and right. Uh, and from there, we build abstractions of gates, like uh, the logical AND, NOT, OR gates. From there, we build abstractions of execution units, like ALUs, memory, etc. From there, we bring abstractions of instructions. For example, uh, add, subtract, load, store, etc. From there, we bring abstractions of instruction set architectures and full CPUs uh, or uh, you know, computers, uh, the, com the processors that go inside our computers are also called CPUs. And, uh, and after that, it is um, libraries that are uh, written in software to basically give better abstractions, for example, uh, abstract uh, libraries to be able to print on the console or send a packet on the network and things like that. Then we have abstractions of programming languages. And then we have abstractions of virtualization. So what do I mean by virtualization? Well, uh, you know, there are a bunch of resources inside a computer. One of the resource is the CPU itself, which contains all these transistors uh, and a huge uh, hierarchy of abstractions within it. But then there are other resources like memory, disk, peripheral devices like I.O. devices, di um, and so on, right? So, and so you want to be able to manage these devices and be able to share these devices among all the different applications that you want to run on your computing device. Also, you want to share this computer among multiple users, perhaps, assuming it's, a, it's some kind of a server computer. Uh, you want this computer to run multiple applications simultaneously. Uh, you want to make sure that these applications cannot step on each other's uh, toes. They, do, they can't interfere with each other. That means they are mutually secure. They, uh, they, do, they can't uh, have any problems with each other. Then you want to make sure that even if there are small errors in your hardware, your applications keep running. So these are all problems of uh, virtualization, which include you know, sharing, protection, reliability. But one of, the, one of the big themes in all of this is efficiency. All right? So whenever you are doing these solutions, you have to make sure that your solution is efficient. And, uh, and for example, one of, the, one of the big challenges in efficiency today are parallel execution of multiple applications uh, uh, on multi-core kind of uh, CPUs. So all these topics actually fall under, under the ambit of computer systems, and this course on operating systems is actually uh, a very nice introduction uh, to, to these topics and the abstractions that go into making a computer system. Um, hopefully, when you take this course, then you will be able to appreciate uh, the full stack of abstractions, especially on the software side of a computer system, uh, starting from uh, the instruction set architecture all the way up to your application level abstractions. Some, some, some of the most interesting topics in this course are, uh, or some of the most you know, major topics in this course are uh, the abstractions that were, uh, that were originally kind of attributed to the Unix operating system. So, uh, so I call it the Unix abstractions of processes, files, uh, file descriptors. These are kind of abstractions that we already take for granted. But, uh, but this course will throw some light on what are the design decisions that are, uh, that are actually, uh, that actually took a lot of time to, uh, to, to settle upon. Then uh, another major topic of this course is going to be synchronization primitives and their implementation. So uh, parallel computing is, um, is becoming mainstream and uh, if, not, if it's not, not already mainstream and uh, synchronization is very important. So what are the synchronization primitives? How do they get implemented? What are the trade-offs in terms of performance and uh, scalability uh, when we discuss these synchronization primitives? This course will introduce you to such concepts. Uh, we'll also talk about memory management, uh, where multiple applications can coexist and they can have uh, memory allocated to themselves. And yet, uh, they don't need to bother about one application uh, 
writing on the ad uh, address space or the memory of the other application and things like that. Uh, it itself is a, is, a, is a full topic in itself. Uh, then we'll talk about file systems, uh, which is a way of which you can think of pretty much as data structures on the disk and uh, the trade-offs and the considerations for data structures on the disk are much different from the data structures in memory, uh, assuming you've already taken the data structure scores uh, before this course. And then we'll also talk about uh, briefly about some ideas in distributed systems. So this course uh, is, is about all these kind of different topics. Uh, and one of the central themes across all these topics that you will find me discussing is uh, is the trade-off between the performance or the efficiency of the system and the ch how the design choices are being tuned so that the, uh, uh, the system can be as efficient as possible. At the same time, uh, worrying about all the other things, and one of the major other things is complexity. So you can either make the machine really, really fast or you can make it really, really simple. But if you, want, if you make it really simple, then it won't be very fast unfortunately. So you, to make things fast, you need to make things more complex. And uh, that is also evident in the complexity that is um, present in today's uh, modern operating systems. For example, if you look at an open source operating system like Linux, uh, it has over, uh, it has uh, in excess of 15 million lines of code in its uh, source code base. And this, this course will hopefully uh, you know, bring to light some of the subsystems of such, uh, such, a, such a vast uh, complex code base. Okay, thank you, and uh, hope you uh, hope you find this. Ho hope you are uh, interested in taking this course. Okay.